I published my first novel, uh, Issues, in 2018. Issues is the, the story of a, a 13 year old uh, school bully, uh, and uh, quite simply, he had a few issues, and that is why he's a bully. Uh, this is taken from near the start of the story. It was the day before Christmas Eve, and a knock came at the door. Marcus wasn't expecting anyone. He hadn't long been out of bed. Glancing at the clock, he could see that it was just past midday. He opened the door and peered out as the sunlight hurt his eyes. Hello, dear, said one of the two middle-aged ladies. Are your parents in? She inquired. Uh, no, they're both at work. We are from the local church where the food bank operates and we just wanted to bless you with a small hamper. They were each carrying a small box, each one overflowing with food. Marcus could see a tin of ham and a steak and kidney pie. His mouth watered at the thought of the food. He had become so accustomed to making do with jam and bread, jam and toast if the bread was a few days old, a pot noodle or a bowl of super noodles was his usual hot meal in the evenings. He was tempted to grab the goodies and hide them in his bedroom all for himself. Why should he tell his parents? They didn't care, did they? If they did, why would they behave the way that they do? He politely thanked the ladies and told them that he would tell his parents where the food had come from. He wished them both a happy Christmas. And as they turned to walk down the path, one lady looked at him and said, I hope and pray that you have a peaceful time. Then they were gone. What did she mean by that? Peaceful time. Did she know something? Of course she would probably know something. Why wouldn't she? Domestic violence is never a quiet affair and police had already been called on several occasions. The concerned neighbours would have made the calls, and those same concerned neighbours would have easily, and most likely, told others about the regular fights. Marcus was having a peaceful time before the knock on the door. He was having a peaceful time now that his intruders had left. He would continue to have a peaceful time until his parents arrived home and then he knew that it would all change. He still had five hours before his parents were due home but already fear was entering. What would they be like when they came home? How long would it be before one of them says something slightly wrong and the other reacts in an over dramatic way? We can all handle fear in different ways and Marcus decided to distract his thoughts by exa examining the contents of the two bulging boxes. There was tins of fruit, peaches and pears, tins of beans, ravioli and macaroni cheese, biscuits, sweet and savoury, cheese, crisps, nuts, soup, cakes and even a small Christmas pudding. Looking at it made him feel like it was Christmas but it was the only evidence of the festive season in the whole room. There was no Christmas tree, no decorations, and of course, no presents. He thought back to the Christmases past and realized that the last present that he was given at Christmas was when he was 10 years old, and it was a Nerf gun. He still had the gun somewhere, but it had been at least a year since he had fired it. He didn't feel like a child anymore. He had changed. He was still changing. Anyone that lives in fear will change. You will either f allow the fear to consume you, to eat you up and drive you into yourself as you seek sanctuary. These people are often described as quiet, withdrawn, lacking confidence, timid, shy and never causes any trouble. The alternative to being consumed is to stay in control. Marcus was changing. He wanted to stay in control. In control of who he was. In control of what 
he did in control of what he said in control of his feelings.